Hey guys, over the years, I'm sure you've collected a lot of tech. Well, I have, and it's sitting around just feels wasted. So today I'm gonna try and get rid of it. So, I have quite a bit of tech. I want to get rid of this 27 inch Thunderbolt display because it's been sitting around for the last two years. And prior to that, I mean, I really didn't get to use it as often as I would have liked. I currently have a 27 inch 5K LG display that was made for Mac. It has just about everything this has got, just the adapters are different and the, the resolution is much, much, much higher. However, this is a super display and I don't know, it's been bugging me for a while that I haven't got rid of it. I try to... It's just a waste for me to leave it sitting around the house. A few other things I have lying around the house is like this 10.5 to 56 iPad Pro, uh, my Apple Watch, you know, I try and use it but I don't, yeah, I, I don't get enough benefit out of it. I do flick it a lot in my videos, but uh, that doesn't mean that I'm actually using it. Lastly, I've got an old iPhone X. Uh, let's see if I can get anything. Uh, I'm willing to give it a shot because it might just be a nice, easy way to get rid of a whole bunch of gear that at this stage is just gathering dust. <laughs> breath uh, which is quite the walk with uh, the monitor and uh, it's crazy what people want to pay for these things it just doesn't like seem worth selling it I would rather give it away or trade it with somebody for something that I need than sell it for the prices that they want to give it to you even my iPad, I mean, insanity is, I mean, an iPad is literally a throwaway device because they'll pay next to nothing with it. I mean, pretty much what the keyboard cost me is what they're willing to pay for an iPad that has a keyboard, a pencil, and is in perfect condition. I'd rather keep it, I'd rather use the iPad for as long as I can rather than just give it away like that. Sure. Okay, so that didn't go as well as expected, but that maybe leads me to my topic today, which is not selling out. Um, I read an article the other day where a designer had been confronted by one of his friends from an agency and his friends call him a sellout because he joined a big corporate and he was basically asking the question you know is he a sellout for joining a corporation like a big corporate company and I think we probably you know all think about these things going you know you're giving up the freedom and the creativity and the advertising life that you may be bought into but no matter what you've got to do what's right for you in your situation now I don't think anybody who is moving over into corporate to work on products is a sellout at all I would say they're quite forward-thinking and they are definitely challenging themselves because it's not easy to work in a corporate environment. It's not easy to hone your skills in and go into like say from a traditional agency where you maybe worked in the digital team and you were churning out campaign sites and banners and more marketing material 
to now going, wait a minute, I'm gonna build amazing products that really touch people's lives. So to me, would that be selling out? Hell no. So I guess it's just the lens that you look at life on. Sure, some of your friends are still seeing ad agencies and they're winning pitches and they're maybe feeling good or whatever, but the truth is, the advertising industry has been in decline for a while and nobody did anything good with digital anyway. So I think it would be silly to kind of feel that you're selling out because you have moved on to where maybe there's a new thriving industry. So yeah, I mean, I think that you know, no matter which way you go, whether you go from the agency to corporate or whether you decide corporate's not for you and you go back to the agency, I think it'll always be the right move at the right time. You know, life is not as clear cut as, as we think. I'm sure 10 years ago, nobody imagined ever leaving an agency. But then I remember 10 years ago when I was in an agency thinking, my God, I'm surrounded by some of the most brilliant minds, but they seem so fearful of change. They were petrified of digital. And to this day, I mean, it was only in 2018 where I was still teaching the exact same people that I used to work with. I was teaching them digital stuff at Ogilvy. So it's, it's not like you're failing or you're anything, whichever way you go, I think it's just about you doing what's right for you at this time. So I would encourage you to not feel that way, walk your own path, until, you know that whole saying about until somebody's walked in your shoes, people do it for the right reasons. I mean, if you just go in a corporate to like cruise by and you know, you now got cool working hours and hey, like a steady job, and you could fly under the radar, well, you know, I, I, then I would probably stand with your friends to say, hey, are you really pushing yourself creatively and are you challenging yourself every day? Because that will get old really fast when you're just part of the corporate machine and, and as some people might call it, a company man. But I think that, you know, if you approach it in the right way, it's the right thing and to hell with what anybody else thinks. And I would rather say to those people who are in agencies, hey, like how ambitious are you? Have you challenged yourself? I don't care if, if you're a designer or a copywriter. If you're a copywriter now and you're sitting in an ad agency and you're churning out digital copy on social media or something like that, well, if you find that challenging, great. But if you are looking and saying, wait a minute, there's all these new roles that I can fulfill in a product team, like a content designer, like a UX writer, like a verbal designer. Those are great roles. And there's even a career path because you can become a content director. You can be a creative director. So there's still the same career path and it's just a different opportunity. So don't ever feel like you're selling out. Okay. So the good news was that I actually did sell my uh, old iPhone X um, and fetched more than I thought I was going to fetch. Not as much as I think anybody would like, but let's, you know, we've got to be realistic. Mm -hmm. Somebody else can get use out of your stuff, then that's great. But I think just giving it away so somebody else profits is just not something that sits well with me and it's why I made the decision today to walk away. So don't sell out. Uh, my name's Craig Jamison. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment and stay cool. Keep dancing with the devil, but he doesn't have a back, no, no, no.